Hey guys, I just watched Transformers 1, directed by Joss Cooley, starring Chris Hemsworth as Optimus, or in this case, Orion Pax, and by Brian Tyree Henry as D16, also known as Megatron. And I wanted to say that this is obviously the story of how Optimus Prime and Megatron uh, started off as friends but became enemies over time. And what started off as an adventure to find uh, what powers the world becomes like a like a politic like Transformer esque movie about like learning that Sentinel Prime is the real bad guy. And in the midst of finding that out, Megat Megatron, always looking up to Sentinel Prime, realizes that there's corrupt systems everywhere. He becomes evil. But Optimus Prime, uh, being the one with, being the one he, he's known for having hope, he he maintains the hope and you know fights against the bad ones. Now, I wanted to say that I know Megatron turns evil at the end of this movie, but but what if? But what I think what they should have done with this trilogy is is that they should have built up his evil turn like what they did with uh, Anakin for the Star Wars prequels and doesn't turn evil until the last one like make that last movie about Megatron being fully evil like like have uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron be friends in this one and then in the ine inevitable sequel have them like have show like more glimpses of his evil side but like still be buddy buddy with Optimus but at the end of that one maybe have him turn evil and then in the third movie which they might they might make a trilogy have him be like fully evil like way to the top over the top I, I think the action in this movie looked really cool I know there was a bunch of like one shot action scenes and I, those looked really cool the seeing Megatron become bad at the like evil at the end it, like you know it's coming but s still seeing it happen happen is really cool the the part in the movie where he splits a, a sentinel prime like iron man is really cool it's really metal like i didn't expect that it's not the most like gory thing in like a kids movie but it was still really cool uh I think the middle of the movie was starting to lack. I know it was cool to see all the old primes and the, the old prime that gets killed at the end by the Sentinel Prime. But I think the middle portion of the movie is just a bunch of exposition that doesn't really go anywhere except for the except for maybe to like set up sequels. And uh, I think after the Iron Man Con 5000, it loses heat up up until they meet Starscream and the High Gods. But Jesus, does this movie love to cut, love to cut to black transitions? Anyways, I think the Thor as Optimus really grows on you, but I never got accustomed to by Brian Tenry's Harry's Megatron. I think someone with a higher range of, I think someone with a higher range of high to low voice would have been more suitable like Keith David or Jeffrey Wright. Anyways, that was, I mean, those are my thoughts on Transformers 1. If you have um, any thoughts, any ex additional thoughts, or if you agree with some of my points, you can comment in the comments below. Now, I wanted to move on to the new Thunderbolts trailer, which, yes, I still think that by the end of this movie, Thunderbolts will become the Dark Avengers. But I wanted to say that the trailer was pretty much what we got for the for the S SDCC reveal in San Diego Comic Con. Oh, I think it was D23. I'm not sure. It might have been D23. But it was pretty much the trailer we got there, except except with some additional scenes added and then some other additional scenes removed. Like for example, Yelena falling from the building and then like other clips but 
other than that, I think I think this movie looks really good. It looks. Um, I I didn't really have hope for it, but now, with now it's like, okay, um, it looks a little more intriguing, I guess. Uh, I think the um, David Harbour is gonna be funny in it. Um, I mean, I don't really have a lot to say about it, but yeah, it's a movie that's coming out next year, and I think May second next year, so. Yeah, let's see how that goes. But anyways, this is a quick video. I haven't been able to make much videos because of school and life. But I think I think after this hurricane, um, I'll use the time of being trapped inside to like focus more on like editing techniques and other stuff. But anyways, this was my review on Transformers 1 and the, my few thoughts on the Thunderbolts trailer. Uh, le let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, share, please. Any help is appreciated. Anyways, see you guys next time. Peace out.